Hey guys, this is uh, Scott uh, here at uh, What a Mess Railroad again. Uh, this is only a little update. Uh, one of the main reasons for this video is to show uh, Sparky 107, 107 uh, uh, to be able to show uh, two buildings to go together since his back shop he wants to put together, uh, but they're in boxes. So yeah, I'll show him how it's done since mine are opened. But first, I'll show you the little bit I've done. Uh, I've put the uh, two tracks in. This one here is going to be the track that's going to go as it continues around there, as it falls on the floor, the other part of the track. Awesome. Anyway, that's going to be for the turntable, which is going to be over here a bit. Uh, it's an 18 inch inside curve. Uh, for locals, it's not so bad. For the small ones, which basis the only thing I can really put on this uh, turntable because it's only good for nine inch or ten inch locals. And uh, the next track is the first track into the uh, engine uh, facility, which is going to go here like that. And then I have no more track, or else I would have started the other tracks. The other two tracks are going to go here, except this one here, I think I'm going to put in a switch first so that you can go to either way to the other shop or through that other track, see how that goes. Uh, I also kind of started putting in some landscaping here, some rocks that I molded before them sitting around. And uh, this little hill that's in between that they carved out which uh, Cora ended up calling Titty Hill Pass. Because it kind of looked uniform, she thought it was kind of odd, but I guess she said it'll be okay after the landscaping's done. Yep, I thought that was uh, interesting. Titty Hill Pass. Hmm. I guess we're not the only ones that think about these things. But anyway, on to the main reason for this video. Uh, I believe... Uh, he bought this um, back shop, uh, it's the one with the extension on it, which is similar to the other back shop that I also have here, which doesn't have the back extension, but it's the same idea. You can actually add this onto uh, the front part of this building if I thought about it at the time, and I didn't really plan on buying another one, but I did. So. To connect two buildings, what you have to do is uh, cut the, the bottom. You can see this extra line here on the bottom. You have to cut that off if you're putting two buildings together. Um, if you're putting three buildings together or more, you have to cut it on both sides for one. And then, like the center unit, you cut two sides and then each one you cut one side. So, you would have the front, uh, well that's the side, because normally you would have this side here and this side here, so you don't want that. So, the front, the kit comes, like I said, you can put them together. So, this is why you have to cut them, because the front part is uh, a little shorter, and it comes with... The little part here that goes onto the front, well, that's actually upside down, to seam between. God, I'm trying to do two things, probably not showing you guys this properly. You should look at the camera better while I'm doing this. Uh, but anyway, uh, they give you this part to seam between there. Uh, what do I do with that other front? No, I kind of uh, left it. Oh, it's still in the sprue. But anyway, you would get the point that if you had, I thought I was a little more organized, but I'm never organized. So anyway, if you had two buildings like that, the uh, part would go here for the front, like that, to make it look like the two fronts together. Good God, I really need somebody to film this better for me. And then, on the back, you would just put uh, 
Did I take that out? Actually, I didn't. But anyway, the instructions show you this anyway. Uh, so there's the uh, part that goes into the front. There's the two walls. And then there's the support beam and stuff that goes in here. And there they show where you cut out the part. Or like I was saying here, you cut out two if you want to put another building there and another building there. So that is how you would assemble uh, more than one building. Now, also with this building here, with the back extension, I, you don't have to put this building on here. Uh, you could actually have it separate because it comes in two pieces. The, the base comes in two pieces. So that originally came from that shop, I guess, was the first one they built. And I think they built this one second. So, oh great, now the furnace comes on. Anyway, like I said, you can put uh, this kit without the back extension onto the kit with the extension or not put the extension on. They give you extra wall parts. So there's all kinds of things you can do. Walters makes everything, uh, you know, kind of interchangeable or connectable, I guess. Some way or some shape. But uh, yeah, so where he had that great big long uh, shop, he could keep adding on as long as he wants to. Anyway, hope this helps. And until next time, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.